This is Amma Warren from the Lions Den Camp Yasha Allah coming at you guys with a news update. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Aqua, to anyone that's out there listening. Before I get into it, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son and the Holy Proper Two Names. And I want to say, Kal Halayun La, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Ha, Raka Kodash Ma'amoth. Double honors to the Apostles and the elders of GMS. And salutations to the Akim that's pushing this truth around the four corners of the earth. All right, and also, I want to do a double honor to my elder as well, Ahir Wamba, Yasha Allah. All right, and I have this news article up here in regards to Haiti, all right, the Levites, all right, uh, which are a part of the 12 tribes of Israel, all right. All right it says, um, Haiti at a breaking point as, a, as economy tanks and violent soars, all right. So, this is another uh, insurrection of, uh, or sedition of men. All right, going on uh, from another country, man. All right, because, uh, you know, previously, or we've been hearing about how all these different countries and different, you know, uh, uh, places of people, uh, their their uh, economy is, is failing them. All right. And by the economy failing them and the banks are failing and the money is failing, it's causing what uproar to the people, man. All right. We recently just saw one not too long ago happen in China. Where China banks were were actually closed since like what April uh, of this year, all right, and people are still not able to receive their funds or, or any of their payments they uh they receive from their jobs, you know, they, they banking deposits and things of whatnot. So it's causing what major uproars because people are are, are 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 frightening of the fact that they can't you know make certain purchases or they can't you know provide for their family. All right, and that's gonna that's gonna cause a, a turmoil for a lot of people. All right, and we, we in the time, and, and it's crazy because we it's not crazy, but it's a, it's it's factual, and the Lord is bringing judgment upon this place, man. And it's not gonna just be in Haiti, or not. It's not gonna just be in China. It's gonna be everywhere, man. It's gonna be a, a great insurrection and a sedition among men. All right, so hey, we 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 ought to be you know you know careful. You know, as well as being what watchful, man. You know, watching for these things that's, that's coming to pass, man. Because hey, Jacob's trouble is definitely here. All right. So this is just a, another instance of Haiti. You know, Haiti, Haiti always been going, you know, going ham and going crazy over there, man. But um, I just read this article not too long ago in regards to uh their prime minister. All right. Um, saying, let me read it real quick. Let me go into it. I'm just gonna bring out a few scriptures, man. Hey, because we we definitely in those times, man, you know. And, and as time progresses, things are definitely gonna kick up more and more. All right. So this is the article. It says, "Daily life in Haiti began to spin out of control last month, just hours after Prime Minister Ariel Henry said fuel sub subsidies, Shalaki, will be eliminated." Causing prices to double, all right? And what that sound like? Hyperinflation, all right? Because we already in the times of inflation right now. Uh, it, 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 in this article, it speaks about how Haiti, um, Haiti's inflation rate is at a 30% rate right now, all right? And we're, we're, we're like at a thing between 8 and 10.2%, all right? So... What it says, it says life in Haiti is always extremely difficult, if not downright dysfunctional. It says the fuel de depot blocked by gangs has been in inoperable since September 12th, cutting off about 10 million gallons of diesel and gasoline and more than 800,000 gallons of kerosene stored on site. Many gas stations are closed and others are quickly running out of supplies. It says the lack of fuel recently forced hospitals to cut back critical services. Come on, man. All right. Hey, hey these trial periods, all right, this are definitely happening, man. Uh, Jacob's trouble is definitely here, and judgment is definitely here. Hey, the scripture says that the, the, uh, judgment was going to start first in the house of Israel first, man. All right. So that's in, that's in regards to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right. Hey, it's better to repent now, seek him early while he's near before a hey, death and destruction is is is, is gonna come, man. All right, because hey, it's gonna be a it's gonna be great hell for two two thirds of our people, man. 
who 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 doesn't hearken to you how about some y'all was shot man all right hey because the warning is out there now all right hey it says a gallon of gallon a, a gallon of gasoline costs 30 30 dollars on the black market man you know and 40 dollars in, in different rural areas it's just desperate people are walking for miles to get food and water because public transportation is, is extremely limited. It says Haiti is now in complete chaos, said Alex Dupoy, a Haiti-born socialist at Western Uni University. So it says what? Haiti is in now complete chaos, man. All right. This is Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw not. And one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, man. Gone. Hey, say so death and destruction it, it draw not to two thirds of our people, man. Alright. Hey, it's just what it's just people what? It says one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands, man. All right, and that's gonna be happening on a on a on a mass large scale. All right, it says gangs control roughly forty percent of Port AU Prince. The UN has estimated they are fighting to control even more territory, killing hundreds of Haitians in recent months including women and children and driving away 20,000 people from their homes kidnappings have spiked it says my country is going through a multi-dimensional crisis whose consequences threaten democracy and their very foundations of the rule of law all right so these, these people are starting to feel the the, the, uh, the heat all right these government officials are getting ready to start feeling more and more of jake all right Jake up roars, man. You know. And let me go down to this real quick. It says the first round of protests in mid-September prompted France and Spain to close their embassies and banks to shut down in the capital of, of Port AU Prince. Protesters attacked businesses, the homes of well-known politicians, and even warehouses of the of the United Nations. World Food Program, stealing millions of dollars worth of food and water. All right, and what that sound like? It says, uh, "Let me go to Second Ezra fifteen and seventeen. All right, or right, I'm starting back at sixteen. It says, "For it says, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. It shall not regard their kings nor princes. So, so you seeing how these people are not regarding the princes nor their their, their, their kings or their nobles." Or, you know what I'm saying? In, in, other, in other words, these government officials and, and officers and things and whatnot, they're not regarding them. It says, in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right? It, verse 18. It says, for, it says, for, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for and for great tribulation. All right, and so these things are definitely happening or, and, and are going to continue to happen. All right, because what it says, it says, it says they, they're gonna invade. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, man, invading one another. All right. It says the, the first round of, of protests in mid-September prompted France and Spain to close their embassies and banks to shut down in the capital. It says protesters attacked businesses, the homes of well-known politicians. So then they're not regarding these their, their nobles or their kings or princes, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and so to say. It says, and even warehouses of the United Nations world program we're a food program stealing millions of dollars worth of food and water. Protests have since grown bigger. Tens of thousands of people recently marched in, in Port AU Prince and beyond. It 
It says, let me go down right here real quick. All right. It says, it says, we don't know if life will go back to normal. He said, if you die today, you don't even know if you're going to make it to a morgue. You, you could be left in the street for dogs and animals to eat you. This is how crazy the city has become. All right. Amen. Because death, uh, death of destruction is going gonna, is gonna to come upon two thirds of our people that, that, that's not hearkening to the Lord, man. Hey, hey, what the scriptures talks about how it says it says that their dead bodies are gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna lie in the streets as dung, man. So it's gonna be a, a major a major uh thing of death, man, going on here in this on in, in this on this earth, man. All right, to the point where people are not gonna be able to do a proper burial, all right, or or even take you to the morgue to do a proper burial to to to, to bury the body, man. To put it in in this grave, man. It's gonna be so much death, man. All right. Hey, it's just what a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods, man. All right. Hey, off all these uh these these preppers, these doom doomsday preppers. All right. And 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 whatever case it may be, you know. Hey, the Lord will have someone come and take it from you, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we're supposed to be what storing our riches in heaven, where moth nor rest can do of, do of corrupt. You know, no man can't take. You know, what I'm saying from you if you, if you put your your treasure in heaven. All right, 